So inside this video, I'm teaching you my best options trading strategy that took this account live proof from $40,000 to $200,000 in a couple months this year. And inside this video, I'm also starting this challenge again. Day one, baby, we're taking $80,000, hopefully to the moon. So if you want to follow the brand new challenge, subscribe, like the video. And if you want to trade with me seven days for free, follow the journey with me in the trading group. Join that seven days for free link below as well. But here we go. Let's talk about what the strategy is, how I was able to do this, and what you need to know for the advantages and disadvantages because this is very risky, guys. But three things lined up for this strategy to work. So take out your notebooks. It's time to be a student and it's not time to YOLO your money. Figure out why this worked and now know it's working again and these three things are lining up for the first time this whole year. So earlier this year, we had a crypto bull market and last year it started. I bought at $10,000. I was telling our trading group, Crypto is breaking out. This could be insane. I did not start this strategy, this $40,000 strategy, till over here. So while I was late to the move, late to the run, you can still make money and be late to trends. This is great advice for all traders. I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice, though. But I was able to take $40,000 to $200K in just this last run in crypto from 32 k to 60 and I was able to do this with one particular thing. It wasn't options, it wasn't leaps, it wasn't altcoins, it wasn't NFTs. I was able to use mining stocks. Mining stocks went 2,400% while crypto only ran 500%. So mining stocks paid a little bit more during this massive run. And if crypto makes another bull market, mining stocks are going to get super overvalued again and... We're going to see these major returns again, hopefully. Nothing ever happens perfectly, but we are setting ourselves up to succeed based off past facts. So mining stocks, I was buying the actual stock. And I did not make all my money from just owning the stock. I did some unique things that allowed me to really grow my account fast. Selling options. And you can see on breadalerts.com, which you can sign up, link below. I'm one of the creators, full disclaimer. I did create it because I love selling options, but the premiums you can collect selling options could be 9 to 4% just in the last three days this week. If you sold an option on Mara or BTBT, those are mining stocks, 5% this week, 4.5% in just three days of holding. So rolling those every single week could produce a million dollar account with a very small account value. And I want to show you the math from the past because I was putting this up and people kind of made fun of me. Uh, I did stop the challenge early, but I did take $40,000, as you can see, all the way to 200 k But if this everything worked out and all the steps were in line, I could have kept going and kept this account going to 100 or $1.8 million. So if you collect 10% per week for 40 weeks, you could turn 40K into 1.8 million. While it sounds attractive on paper, it does not work out in the real world like that. But still, guys, a strategy that can take your account up 400, 500% in a couple months is a strategy I want to figure out. So while it does not work every day of the week, and here's a good news flash traders, the best strategies don't work every day of the week. They don't even work every month of the year. Sometimes the best strategies only work one or two months out of the year. But if you see the eclipse and you see the gold that is right on the end of it, well, now's the time to start doing it. But don't prey on these strategies when they're not working. This one strategy I'm going to teach you is super risky. As you guys have known, Riot did tank this year. It did not pay 10% premiums and it did not run back up the all-time highs yet. So there are huge, huge downsides to doing this if it does not work. So the whole idea is 10% selling options. You own the stock or you do cash secured puts. 10% per week can turn 40K to 1.8 million if you consistently get it. It's not easy. It's not going to happen every week. But if it did happen, that's what could happen to your account. So that's the strategy we're talking about. Selling options to just 
roll money in every week and just snowball it. Um, 40000 the first week is $4,000 gain. The next week, 4400 So you can see the returns per week start snowballing very quickly. Just in week two, you're getting 10% more, 10% more, 10% more. But let's talk about why the strategy didn't work. Because you all know I quit Riot. I didn't sell Riot options anymore. I actually sold all Riot stock in one of my accounts. And yeah, while that was tough to deal with, I did realize that it's better to pay yourself. And personally, I did not like seeing $50,000 swings in my account per day. I didn't see it per month. I saw $50,000 swings per day and I started with $40,000. So how can anyone adjust to that? And if my account was at 1.8 million, how could I adjust to 300K swings? That's like the price of my house almost. So that's not something I would ever get comfortable with. And so once I saw my account hit multiple six figures, it was just not fun and it was totally stressful. And I said, I'm paying myself $100,000 and that's what I did. And I'm so happy I did. I set myself up to pay off more debt, have, have a great future, yada, yada, yada. And I ended the strategy, took my gains and walked away. And there's nothing wrong with that. But now is the eclipse for this strategy happening again and we're starting it and I'm very excited but first off here's why it didn't work if you're curious if you're bag holding during this time here's exactly why it didn't work Bitcoin you know my yellow and red clouds we hit a yellow red cloud formation and we fell 50% so how's any mining stock any crypto stock gonna do well when Bitcoin's in a bear market this is a true bear market and this lasted you know three to four months unfortunately but we are back up to all-time highs. So while that was sad and while that made this strategy not work, we are at the point where we can start another bull market for Bitcoin and another time for these mining stocks to absolutely rip. And selling options on those rips and selling options with those stocks is going to be exciting. Here's also why it didn't work. Riot was paying 10 to 15% per week selling options. Then, now... It's paying 3 to 5% per week. So if we go back to the handy dandy millionaire cheat sheet here, if you make 3% per week, you don't grow your account as fast. Hopefully you understand that. For the risk to reward to make sense, you need to make more money selling options. If you only make 3% per week, you can see to make $200,000 like I did previously, I don't know if this is totally correct. Let's drag this down. So because now we're selling options for 3 to 5% per week, 3% per week brings in 1200 bucks, which is not as exciting as 4000 a week. So if you scroll down, where would I hit that 200 k that I was talking about earlier? It would take me the full, maybe even 60 weeks to hit 200 k So you can see compound interest. It works really well when the numbers are large and it doesn't grow as fast when the numbers are small. If I change this to 5% per week, let's just see what we get at 40 weeks. Do we even hit that 200K? 280K. So 1% per week makes a massive difference. And I'm getting those extra 1% and I'll show you how with some other unique strategies. But Bitcoin right now is about to break the 65K level, which is all time highs. We have never dropped 50% in Bitcoin and ran back up to all time highs within the same year period. Um, this is a very unique moment. So I do think crypto is going to hold 30 to 50K for a very long time if it consolidates. But that's a great base for the future. So I do think price discovery accepted that range and they do want to look for that 200K range eventually. So I think this bull market is going to begin within the next 7 to 10 days. And I'm going heavy in these stocks and I'm going to show you which ones how we're using them and what options we're selling. So my account, I was going to put out a video last week. We're at 65K. 
This week we're at 80K, $80,000. We're already up 15,000. And I put out a video last week on why I loved coin, why I was buying coin, and coin's up another $70 this week. So we're getting paid, guys. But I'm going to show you this account journey, brand new account, and we're going to start this one off at 65K and see where we can take it. I'm doing a riot, riot again. And I know you can be mad at this, you can be sad at this, but I'm pretty excited because riots at a deep discount compared to all the stocks that are mining stocks. And I do have only a thousand shares, not that much. And we are up two thousand dollars just in the stock. And what I'm doing is I'm selling a covered call at 31. And I'll tell you why. Right now, Riot is coming off this low of $25 very aggressively. We will likely hit $40 within the next month or two, and maybe even sooner, maybe even next week. So Riot could go 30% higher very quickly. I do not want to sell covered calls very close to the price. And honestly, this is a little too close for comfort. But what I've been doing this week is whenever Riot drops, I get out of my covered calls and then I sell them again when Riot pops because Riot's in this bull trend this week. And this is a good thing you can do. This is good advice um, to people trading. If you're in a bull run and doing covered calls, it's a bad scenario. But what you want to do is kind of trade the covered calls. If the stock drops, you take your money. And if the stock pops, put on another covered call. And you can layer them on. I'll show you that strategy in a second. But the whole idea is you want to take advantage of the stock gains as much as you can in a bull run. But when the when the stock drops, you can trade those covered calls basically. But anytime you put a covered call on in a massive bull run, you're probably going to get assigned and lose the stock, which is the, a major downfall of this strategy. So I do like this. I'm excited, but I don't know if I'm going to maximize the move. If we hit 40 bucks, I'm basically selling my stock at 31 this week, um, plus the premium. Let's call it 32.10. So covered calls are great because you can sell the stock for a higher amount and keep the premium. So if the stock moves up to 31, I sell it at 32.10. That's about a 7% gain. And you can see Riot has plenty of upside. So um, Riot's super early. I do think we hit 34 in the next couple days. We're trading it with our trading group, so we're also in calls and leveraging that. The other stock I'm using is uh, Coin. Um, but first, you can see Riot here for covered calls on breadalerts.com, paying 5%, 3.8%, 2%, 1.9%, 1 and 1.5%. Uh, in the next three days, I'll take 2.7%. Honestly, that's not bad with a 60% chance of expiring worthless. Um, if I wanted to save my stock, I'd probably be going over here to the 77% mark and try to collect 1.5. But um, I found just to kind of trade these covered calls and get in at the tops and try to get out at the bottoms. Coin, now let's move on to my other stock. I did not want to put any covered calls on this because coin could be a 50% runner even 30% runner really quickly. I had coin at the bottom at 237. I made about 16 grand on this already, so it's most of my gains in my account is from coin. And I put on covered calls this week. I started putting them on it today. So we put them on at 295 and 300. We're currently at 299. So I'm gonna lose one coin, 100 shares. And if we close above 300, I'm gonna lose another 100 coin shares. And the idea is I get the, the premium. So I get to sell coin at 295 plus nine nine yeah plus nine. So three oh four. And I get to sell it here for three oh seven. So that's still above the current price of coin. I think there's some resistance at three oh six, so I don't mind putting these towards resistance. Um, but again, if this runs to $400, I'm going to be really sad and I'm going to be mad that I put on these covered calls. And that's the downside of the strategy. It's just a massive run and you're left in the dust. So coin right here on the charts completely broke out. Uh, we were calling this in our trading group. We were calling this on the YouTube channel for weeks. Coin is my favorite stock long term. Even better when Bitcoin's making an all-time high. But coin right here, once we pass this last level, you do see it's about 310 
over 310, we're going to be at that 400 level again. So there's really nothing stopping us and there's not too much resistance over here. So once we just start moving, we're moving. And I don't know what I'm going to do if it moves too quickly because I'm already covered and I can't recover myself. Uh, I might uncover it on a, on a run though, which means you take off the covered calls for a loss, which could be the scenario. I don't want that to happen, but it definitely could. So that's my second stock. Stock number three is totally uncovered, which is going to be HUT. And also going back to coin, covered calls are paying 2.8%. 1.7, 1.3, and 1. So it makes l less sense for me to cover coin because the, the premiums aren't that much. There is, they're half as much collection as Riot. So if Riot moves a lot, I still collect more premium, like double the amount, which means I sell it for a higher amount. But if coin moves a lot, I don't sell it as much um, with the, if the covered call gets assigned. So I, I'm more hesitant to cover coin in the future. Um, I'm probably going to take these off and let half my position ride and only cover a certain portion of it. Um, but what I like to do is layer uh, layer them on. So have one be close to the um, price and then have one be higher than the price. So the chance of me losing everything is, is smaller. But at some moments when I'm super bullish, I'll just not have any covered calls on. And lastly, HUT favorite mining stock right now currently super undervalued has a price target for me at about $25 so I love hut just because 100% upside I'm just putting this money in and it's basically money that I'm never going to cover because I know 100% upside I just don't want to ever experience that moment where I have to sell it at $13 and it's at like 45 so hut right now only has monthlies too so you can't even take advantage of the weekly wheel you have to do monthly wheels on this and that's just something i'm holding so those are the three stocks that's the strategy this is the beginning day one so tune in for next week we'll update you on the journey and if you want to see a video on riot and how that strategy went in the past i'll link it to the right and you can understand how the strategy worked what the situation was and how i was using it back then i'll see you guys later enjoy your week peace